All right. Hello, hello. Welcome. Well, oh god, I'm not muted, am I? Where am I not muted? I just heard my uh, my own voice, which is a little weird. But um, there we go. We're back for another stream today. I'm just trying to get everything figured out here. Oh, there I am. What's up, Plotian? Enjoy the lurk. We are, uh, yes, we're playing some Barman today. I gotta update Cardboard Live. Alright, everything should be good now. I muted the, muted myself talking on my own other monitor, but it, whatever. We're good. Played some Barman today. Uh... Played in the Modern 10K last week, for those of you that were watching uh, the streams for the past couple of weeks here. I had been prepping pretty hardcore for that, jamming a bunch of Modern, but now I'm free from that Godforsaken format, and now we're playing a different Godforsaken format. Um, this one plagued by uh, Renin 6 instead of Urza. So this is one of the decks that I'm considering for Eternal Weekend that are Death and Taxes. I enjoy a lot of basic planes, but... Uh, this is uh, a new addition that I am really interested in trying out in this deck. Glass Casket. It's a pretty innocuous card. It's literally just an artifact version of Silk Wrap. For those of you familiar with the, like, Cons of Tarkir, Uncommon. It's, I, I think, identical text. It's just an uh, enchantment of an artifact. But, notably, Karn does not wish for colorless artifacts or, like, colorless cards. He just wishes for artifacts. So... With, uh, with Karn, you can wish for your Glass Casket as a removal spell. I had been playing at Engineered Explosives previously, which had been, like, pretty good. I was uh, relatively impressed with that. I, I enjoyed having that card as an option. But uh, a couple big misses are Engineered Explosives costs four mana to kill, like, a single Tarmogoyf or something, or, like, three mana to kill a Delver. Obviously, you don't always have, like, the extra color of mana to work with, too. You, you have to rely on Petal, Opal, or... Uh, LED to produce those other colors of mana to set your EE up. Um, stuff like that. Glass Casket is just two mana. It's in white, so it's a lot easier to, to play your Karn and play your Glass Casket and uh, knock out a big Tarmogoy for a Delver pressure in your life total or like a, a Thalia or like a Knight of the Reliquary. Or... Uh, Collector Oof is a big one. Having a wishable answer to Collector Oof and just being able to get rid of it. And also, like a, you get to uh, work around to kill Null Rods, even. You can Karn down to get your Glass Casket next turn, have your Karn, plus on the Null Rod, turn it into a creature, and then Glass Casket it, which is something that you couldn't really do before this deck, unless you were playing the Sky Sovereign, whatever, Sky Ship, the, the vehicle that, like, throw, that bolts something when it ETBs or when it attacks. But it's, like, 8,000 mana to play that. This is a lot easier. But other than that, I'm playing 74 of the 75 that I won the challenge with uh, about a month ago now, maybe. Three weeks ago, something like that. So we're just going to jam it, see how it feels. I have not played Legacy in a couple weeks, so have you considered getting a countdown intro screen? Uh, kind of. I've thought, I have, like, thought about it. Just, like, a stream, at least, if not, like, a countdown, at least, like, a stream starting soon screen to, like, uh, wait a little bit. So first of all, I'm just, like, setting up some behind-the-scenes stuff. But anyway. Finally get to Abandon Modern for another month or so. And play in these Legacy Leagues. Probably pretty reasonable to do that actually to get like a, a screen I can switch over at the start of streams, people trickle in and stuff, and changes your list. Just missed a grab my food. Um, you, there should be cardboard live on the screen. If you're on mobile, there should be like a little like, icon for it, like a puzzle piece icon. If you're on desktop, that should be a clickable thing. But it's literally my challenge list with uh, glass caskets instead of EE. Uh, I'd love to play first. 
Sand has turn two mentor and bobbles and stuff. I'm not going to blist on one because we have this city instead of like a two. I think this ant's good enough though. I'm going to dig this. Plans say go. I just feel moon base just got hustled at pulling or mad about. It's <laughs> made a double or nothing. You just keep beating them. Uh, that's, that'd be something. That'd be something else. I am like top eight, first place, first place, first place, top 16. Man, I was really not wanting to get thaw seized. One thing that was on my mind, but looks like depth, so at least we have like Karakas to gum them up. But yeah, I have been crushing it in Moonbase for a long time now. I punted my top eight match, which sucks in game. I think if I had like not punted in that game three, it's like a very, like a, it's like a very easy win from that point. But it was a long day, played a lot of magic, fucked up. It's like an easy mentor here, right? Wow, Ballista. Are they just like, well, you're not afraid of getting bomber manned. Because like, the LED would still let me kill them. Are they gonna like play an important X one here? Well, opponent going off. Which you like, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Get any sweet Missouri MTG. Yeah, I got, um, I picked up all of my City of Traders and I'm talking with him tomorrow to get a sick deal on some LEDs. Chalice. So we're definitely just gonna mentor here rather than like putting a chalice on one. We just wanna pressure my opponent. In Japanese, right? Uh, I think the LEDs are actually Japanese. My end goal, if I were to pimp out the deck, would be to actually make it all Japanese, but the cities are definitely English. I'll take what I can get with those cards. If I want to pimp it out later, I'll work that out. Why are you lighting Equity on fire when I'm playing non snow lands in 2019? Because I hate Equity and like my lands. Snow lands suck. Activate the bobble after the, the bob here. See more cards. I'll rip this chalice. Herborg, sure, whatever. I just have six here. Herborg. Decay, that's rude. Menthosis. Hmm, not Thossies is interesting. I put this chalice on two now. Ooh, a ballista. Never mind. These are much better than his hour TNT planes. <laughs> These are literally the autofill planes that I never changed when I built the deck. And I'm just stuck with them. They're not even all magic. I think some of them are different. Uh, so they have a Thossies in their hand. We could ballista. Ballista on one and Chalice on one. I kind of want to Ballista, or I kind of want to Chalice on two. So we could just Ballista on two, not play the Chalice. But then we're, like, not close to playing the Chalice on, uh... Not close to playing the Chalice on two ever, but I think that's fine. I think I'd rather keep my Ballista around. Just float, Caracas. Should probably actually keep the Caracas in hand, right? If they, in case they draw, like, a Wasteland or something. You man. The cavern is the real story. My caverns aren't even like this deck has a bunch of mismatching cards. <laughs> I have like two different I have like two masterpiece opals and one not. I have I think the caverns are mismatching. Two of the chalices are foil randomly. Alright, well, 
that's scary. Draw like a soul land. Put this chalice on two. Kind of into that. Also, just pump up. So we can already beat Hex Mage, right? Because we can ping the Hex Mage, force them to make the Lage, and then Caracas it. We could just Chalice on one to beat Crop Rotation. Right? Because Hex Mage is already taken care of by the Ballista. I mean, Chalice on two also, like, prevents, like, Sylvan Scrying and stuff. I think Crop Rotation is the... If they, like... Pop my pop the thing on the text page on my chalice or whatever. That's fine. So just chalice on one and then play the. S I don't want to play the city though. This we just play the Caracas. Uh, Respol, thanks for the one dollar. Buy some pin plates. NTGO prices are great. All right. With that one dollar, we'll, we'll figure something out. Oh yeah, we get prowess triggers, so playing this seems pretty relevant. Gurus are cheap. That's okay. Cool, they're dead. We did it. We'll, we'll pick out some planes, chat. How about that? Let's let's pick out some planes during this league with the one dollar that Restful just donated. Let's pick out six plane. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, six planes for Bomberman. We're on the draw. Makes Chow suck a lot, so this is fine. Disenchant. Does not really interest me that much. I think we're good. Just hit submit here. I'm gonna do the for boarding in the glass casket as just like a removal spell. I feel like if we're Karn wishing, we're probably wishing for like the bridge. Hmm. Maybe. You can just like glass casket there, turn one, uh, like the elvish thing, elvish reclaimer, or like a bob or something like that. Might be reasonable. Need <sighs> <sighs> to see how boring and uh, chalice on the play versus depths is. I have no idea, like, how good it is or not. It's something that I've not tested enough, but something I'm curious about. Sand sucks butts. Sand's real bad. I'm gonna keep seven. All right, this is a hand. This is certainly a hand. We like turn one mentor ball wobble. Turns off our opal though. So definitely keeping this. We'd throw it or put it to the bottom. Whew. So we want both the soul lands to play this Karn on turn two. I guess that means we don't, we could just turn one tomb petal, mentor, bobble, bobble, turn two city Karn, which means we don't need the opal, right? Because the opal doesn't do anything. The opal produces us lasting white mana. So it's either the opal or the, the bobble. We also keep all of our artifacts around not getting any monks by going like bobble, like, no, because we have to ship one of these. I think it's going to be the opal. I want to draw more cards. Thoughtseize. Nope. Something scarier than Thoughtseize? Oh. Okay.
okay in response, which is fine. We didn't have anything else to play anyway. Gonna make our monk, cycle our bobble, play a card next turn, something like that. Trying to find an LED, although we're down a ton of white mana. <laughs> I guess the card just goes and finds the LED, but now we need to figure out a way to cast the salvagers. Bobble you. Drawing a Fossies. Alright, well, goodbye, Karn. It was nice knowing you. I think what the, we draw, we don't even, like, play the city, because we need to find white mana for the Salvagers. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alright, Monk. Got a lot of work to do. Not bad draws. So Opal's gonna take a little bit of work here, but we'll play it out for prowess triggers. It's not getting any better. Hit him for that extra one. That's scary. Is this a hex mage? Alright, thank god. Just Bob. Try like a ballista here. Oh. We have one card in hand. It's probably it's almost surely worth plowing this Star Confidant. Rather than like plowing the Merit Lage. Bob draws them pretty deep. Let's see if they block. You never know. <laughs> actually cast this plow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, forgot, I missed one damage there because I didn't do that. Whoops, oh well. Hopefully that doesn't bite me. Doesn't seem like this game's gonna be a damage race. Goodbye, City of Traders. I'll miss you. Uh, probably... Yeah, playing on this pedal for damage. It gets a burp decade, but, like, I guess... Almost turns on our opal. It's pretty close. They thought these mean they're just gonna take the salvagers anyway. So chance we want to hold it. Oh, they can always just abrupticate the opal. Take me out of mana. We don't want to get like duressed. It's a card that they play, right? We draw another petal, we can cast the salvagers. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that's a card. Human can't tap this opal, unfortunately, but now any zero mana artifact gets us to the salvagers. Salvagers can start buying back this bobble. Right. I think I'm sacking this bobble. I was wondering if we're like not sacking it, because if we don't sack it, we can buy back the petal, and like that turns on our opal, which means we can cast another thing. I think I just want to draw cards, though. Draw another Dark Depths. Alright, that's fine. If are drawing two cards, we can hit something good here. If we find an LED, they just like die, so... That's pretty good. We 
did it! Dub's opponent did not find a lot of uh, a lot of action there either game. They just kind of like thought seized me. We killed their Bob, and then they drew some blanks after having half the combo. I guess we'll take it. We take those for sure. I do love the one of the most refreshing things about playing Bomberman after playing D and T for like years and years and years is the ability to just like randomly top deck lethal like that. It's like, oh, my opponent's at fifteen, but if we draw like one of these cards, they just instantly die. D and T's always just like, all right, well, we have to hope they they draw blanks for like three turns while we attack them with like this two one, this one two, and this three one flyer. But like, if they if they draw their the other half of the combo, then we're just, like, instantly dead. <laughs> One refreshing thing about playing the combo deck. Opponent. Opponent, come back. Alright. What what planes should we... What planes should we get, chat? Are all... Pa are all... So at least most of paper planes... Also on Moto. Are you excited to lose one game to sudden 24 power again? What are we referring to? Entreat? Mirrored one. Are those the, the spiky ones? Sam technically has all the pieces of the combo. Oh yeah, Entreat. That's what we are, we are referring to. Entreat would always feel easier to beat than Mentor as Death and Taxes. So, I'm okay with it. Interested to tackle the Graveyard Hate versus Miracles question for like the 87th time. This hand sucks, though. This hand just doesn't have any mana. Ah, this hand's much better. For sure keeping this. I kind of want all my payoffs, but that means shipping the bobble, which means the mentor sucks, right? We could ship a land and get greedy, but I kind of also hate that. Adopted the it plays play, so it's basically d and mental. Yeah, we're playing, like, black-white... Eldrazi mid range with no Thalia's and modern, and just playing like a mono white deck with no Thalia's and legacy. Yeah, hang on. Ah, uh, yes, these are not spiky ones. Uh, God, what am I. It's gotta be this bobble, right? The rest of my hand's so stacked. We, didn't, we don't need this bobble, it'll be fine. Oh boy, dredge. Alright, well. A lot of my cards suddenly don't matter nearly as much. Oh, wait. This is, yeah, this is just Ho the Hogak deck. I didn't think they played City of Arras. It's a little weird, but okay. I know the Vengevine, which is certainly scary. We need to go fast, and our hand is very slow. <laughs> Is there a world where I'm playing Tomb here? We draw another soul and I play Forge. Is there a world where I'm not playing Tomb next turn? Probably not, so I should probably leave the Tomb. Draw another soul and I pro or like a piece of fast mana, I'd probably play Forge instead of Mentor. Because Mentor is like garbage on this in this board state. Mentor can make a lot, a lot, yeah, a lot of trump blockers, which is reasonable. Except against Hogak, obviously. It just has Trample. What do we do, an opponent? Not playing two creatures. Ah, nice. This is this is my ideal turn two. <laughs> Cast a blood guest, say go. Definitely not blistering either of these things, I imagine. So yeah, we'll play a mentor. Unfortunately, I have nothing to, to go along with it. 
the ballista makes it so that the salvagers is a kill if we find led it's like karn or led are huge hits so we just want to play this run this mystic forge out to try to combo them game one i doubt they really have interaction outside of cabal therapy That's bad. It's very bad. Let's find a Karn. That is quite threatening. I guess I should block the Citrus Supplier since they can just sack it anyway and will sack it once I block. But, you know, don't want to take the one damage for no reason. Oh, they didn't sack it. Cool. They just mill one less card, I guess. Oh, God. Hogak. Oh, I'll draw Karn. Karn Tormont script. Now. And I need them to not have a land. Otherwise they get to gack me. Wait, well I guess it's not a zombie, right? It's a vampire, alright, they don't get to gack me. Oh, they do get to gack me. Bastion Ruwala. Interesting. I wonder if they're gonna try to kill me right now. Oh god, Venge Vines. I guess they probably can just kill me right now, right? I didn't realize both these Venge Vines going back too. They can mill themselves for so much. Hit two bridges and just kill me. Uh, there's no bridges yet. Wild Mongrel, wild, Faithful Suit. Wow, my opponent's playing a wild version of uh, Hogak. It's the Jund version, except they're also playing City Brass, Venge Vine, Bastion Root Walla. Wild mongrel. Oh yeah, we're super dead. Three hogax. Four hogax. Still no bridges. I mean, but they can just sack these venge vines, too. There's absolutely no way we're not dead. I'll let them keep going. There's one bridge. That means we're almost deterministically dead. I think we might actually just be deterministically dead now. Because they can just sack another thing and get another zombie. And then bring the Hogak back and then sack the Hogak, yeah. As long as they can make enough zombies. Don't really know why they sacked that root wall up, but okay. They fuck it up. Oh no, they can just bring back the Hogak again. They still own, oh, they have two birds now, yeah. But I don't think they have enough zombies to mill me out, right? Please target yourself again. I don't think you can kill me. Come on, come on, opponent. Target yourself, coward. Maybe they can. I haven't done the math. 26 cards in graveyard. That's... Five mils? Five casts? Alright, well, we're dead. You can tab gag and a zombie to cast gag. Yeah, exactly. Opponent played that very badly, and we're still super dead. They just, like, untap and mill me out next turn. Is there any world I can win? Forge, rattle off, like, a bunch of fast mana and the LED off the top? I mean, blow, the, blow their bridges with Blista? Oh, that's true. They only have two bridges in the yard, though, but that's still not nothing. So I think we cast the Forge here. To try to like cheese the win. They don't have haste, right? This is uh Oh, we're gonna have blockers for the zombies, so it's minimum there it's like block block. Eh, we're technically if we miss on the forge we do just die on forge, but I mean we're just dead anyway. So let's play the forge first.
We would like play the bolster for two, kill a zombie, break their bridge. They only have two bridges. Yeah, we're just gonna forge. Hopefully we can get get somewhere with these. Thank you, graveyard popped out, whatever. Their life total doesn't matter. Just get super lucky with this forge, let's go. Alright, nice. Land on the top, that's exactly what I needed. Nice, second land. Perfect. So now we're just dead. <laughs> like, we're literally just dead to their board. <laughs> needed, like, I think one hit to live. Block, 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 take... Block, block, take... Tw yeah, like, we needed, like, literally one hit, and we, we're fine. But it's... It's had two wins on the top, sure. It'd be so bad if we had better. Oh, they're they're sacking. All right. I think we're still dead. I'm not positive. They're starting to mill me, so we're probably dead. But I have not done the math. They have 28 cards in their graveyard. That is five recasts of Hogak. That's 40 cards. I have 42 cars and then sack zombies. Yeah, we're dead. We're, we're deterministically dead. But it also didn't decide to like, just not attack me for lethal, but whatever. Yeah, we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll just... We'll just let them, let them do their thing. They're just playing like, a really weird build, too, so I can't... I don't imagine... Like, I can't imagine, like, what exactly they're... Uh, they're doing... Kind of confusing. Just playing such an odd build. Board in the old priest. Probably board in plow. I'm telling them at the end they can tap gag to play the second gag. Oh yeah, they could have milled me a lot more like that, right? Because they have, they're only tapping one zombie each time, so they just like get a bunch of free mills too. Um. I was just thinking, did they even, have, did they show therapy? We saw, like, their whole deck, and I, they never had a Cabal therapy, right? Is that... They can't mill you for infinite. They can mill you for a lot. But, like, they do cap out on how many times they can cast Hogak, right? Yeah, definitely, they can mill me for a lot more than my deck, that's for sure. They can mill me for what is essentially infinite. For what what is good enough. Plow against the deck full of sack outlets. I don't know. Plow seems pretty good against like the 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 things that you don't want to come back, right? They don't. They have like the artifact, and they showed the carrion feeder, which is also a good thing to plow. Where's the fragmentize? Fragmentize is a nombo with a uh, chalice of wood, <laughs> as it turns out. I'm trying to figure out if I want to cut these chalices. I think the answer is still no, because it's like Stitcher supplier looting stuff like that but it's a lot worse because therapy is like one of the more concerning cards for you to deal with and they just like didn't have them i feel like this is a matchup that like you also might actually board in glass casket so what comes out yeah that's what i'm trying to figure out here uh probably mystic forge mystic forge is mostly for slower matchups and this is most certainly not a slow matchup um, Chalice is one of the best cards. That, yeah, yeah, just like they had these. I don't know. I'm very weirded out by their lack, complete lack of uh, uh, therapies. It's kind of unusual. All right, this hand has. Turn two mentor LED and a ballista. It's probably it's got a lot of mana, but it doesn't do anything, right? Seems kind of bad. I think we can find something better. Karn is our best card. The combo is also one of our best things we can be doing. Although we have like two pieces of the combo. 
Yeah, Krog is like good on their non sack outlet hands, but yeah, this, I don't think his hand does enough overall. Ugh. How risky is this hand? This hand is, uh, we have turn one chalice on the play, which is gas. We have a ballista to do something, too. This hand pops off if we find another mana source, but if we don't, <laughs> we're stuck with a bunch of garbage. Opponent kept seven. Can't imagine they're just stone cold with this chalice, but I do have to imagine it's really good, on, especially on the play. I wonder if we just keep this hand and just wing it. We have 19 lands and four petals to draw that are all, like, reasonable. Karn's, like, insane in this matchup, too. I'm gonna keep this and put a self on the bottom. This might be too risky, but going to five also sucks, so. I like this hand better than the seven by a large margin, but this six might still not be good enough. Hey, never ever punished in my whole life. We still need another mana source <laughs> to do anything, like, important, <laughs> but... I'll take it. Yeah, they do a Force of Vigor. They have ways that they can pop the Chalice. Oh, not ways in their hand. Hey, literally never punished in my entire life. What's it like? What's it like? I think I'm just gonna grab an LED here, right? Then we just kill them. I don't think I want to play it because if they like force a vigor, we just get we get wrecked. And like, I don't think it's worth the extra like trigger because it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just gonna get LED. Like, they're not even pressuring me to the point where I would want a Tormod script. Cast a spell. Let's see it. What do you got? Bloodgast. Assassin's Trophy. It's a green card. Ooh, trophy. Lawless Troll deal. You got it, boss. With luck, you just <laughs> get us to soup the land. Well, we did find the land. We can lattice them. Maybe we should, just to make it easier on myself. Nah, we should combo kill them. Combo killing them is also just way sweeter. Also, we have Mentor plays a combo killing, killing them is really easy. Popped out this graveyard. Ah, cool, they just conceded. They understand how the combo works. So they, like, they know how the combo works. They're not, like, new to Legacy or anything. I guess they might just not know the... Some of the inner workings of the Hogak deck. Congrats to the top eight. How much of your stream have I missed so far? We're in round two, game three. It's not a lot. But yeah, thanks. Thanks for the congrats. It was pretty exciting stuff. It was a real fun, real fun event. Didn't play, only played against Urza twice. Up for 39 minutes. Wow, that's like one game of Death and Taxes. So TLDR on the tournament. Uh, my deck is sweet. I loved it. I got very lucky a lot. I played against Urza back-to-back -back rounds and, and 2 would it both times. I do not think the matchup is good, but I think people... I think your average paper player is also worse than your average uh, online player by, like, a decent margin. My Both of my Urza opponents... Uh, one of them was played very well. The other played less well. But uh, I also got very lucky. Bomberman double league stream. Well... I guess if we just, like, burn it down real fast. I think we're just resubmitting here. 
I kind of talked my way through the the first sideboarding, so I want to kind of reassess if I want any of these cards. There's an argument for like boarding in the uh, the crypt, just because it's f much faster than coming off a of Karn. Especially on the draw, we might just like need the speed. So like, what would we board out? Katana Priest probably fine because they're. I don't like Katana Priest against the version that only had Bloodgast, but against Bloodgast plus Vengevine, Priest is probably good enough. Um. Buy Barman on MTGO that way. <laughs> you can't afford food. Barman is so much fucking money. At least it's gone down. A little bit. I used to own, I used to own, like, it was, I was right up against my rental limit. It was, like, 298 ticks or something for, uh, renting the rest of the cards for Barman. Now it's down to, like, 233 or something. I don't, no, I don't have a code. I am not partnered in that way. I, but I do recommend, uh, that you could get into their rental service as well if you don't want to like buy into it renting is a pretty reasonable alternative uh so this hand cannot turn one of this chalice on one it's off on by one uh artifact if you just buy into a single deck then it's like pretty reasonable you don't have to use a rental service depends on how much moto you play too uh i think we're just shipping this Unless we're like last time, we just rattle off a bunch of lands off the top. But I think we can just have a better hand. I would classify this as a better hand. Turn one chalice. Um, we can't cast this plow, and also we're going to chalice on one, but this is fine. I wonder if we ship the plow here. Just keep all the lands. Just because they could blow up my chalice, though, and then... But we're still so far from like getting the white mana to play it that I don't I don't actually know. It's probably just ship an ancient tomb. Ooh, leyline of the void. All right. Well, certainly not bomber manning them. There's the feeder. Am I supposed to uh, pedal plow tomb chalice on one? This carrion feeder? Or do I just leave it in play to let them answer my chalice? It wastes so much of my resources for the mentor. Like the mentor is just gonna like get up to the point where we can block this carrion feeder anyway, right? We can just tomb chalice next turn we have cavern, mentor, opal pedal. And we can even just like toss the plow into the chalice to get more triggers to block the feeder. It does enable some of their nonsense. Next turn we would still have Mentor plus Opal. Hmm. It all depends on if they can blow up my Chalice, I suppose. Yeah. If they can blow up my Chalice, then I waste a lot of resources. But if they can't, if they don't have answer the Chalice, I think I do want to plow it. Pretty in on this mentor plan with this ley line in play. I could also find just Karn and Karn them. Hoping they kept their hand on the strength of ley line of the void. One of the things I have. This weird similarity between this deck and the Black White Eldrazi deck that I've been having fun with is, like, a bunch of different angles of attack and people, like, not knowing how to board for it. Or, like, just being able to beat sideboard cards a lot easier. Just because your deck doesn't really just operate on one axis. Oh, nice. Alright, 
was stopped at Karn, everything will be fine. Man, I'm so good at this deck. I don't know if you guys knew. I am so good at this deck. <laughs> Is this death? My my opponent's deck? No, they were on a Hogak. They were on a weird Jund Hogak build. They just had a... They kept on a hand that was like... Relatively weak. Kept it off the ley line. We had a hand that played straight through ley line pretty easily. Beat Moon Stompy in game three. They had ley line of the void, two bridges, two cards, a Rowl Master, and a Chandra. Yeah, Barman just has all these different axes that it that it attacks on, and it's like really hard to like board for all of them. And sometimes it's like, I, sometimes I do think it's right to not board for some of them. Like I think Death and Taxes specifically should. Straight up not be boarding Surgical. I think it's horrible in the matchup, and I don't think they should be boarding Rest in Peace either. Like, other other decks, obviously, it, it varies by matchup. I think stuff like Grixis probably wants Leyline of the Void more, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it just makes it so hard to, to sideboard against, and just a lot easier to beat sideboard hate when your deck operates on all these different axes. It's cool. Hello, kitty. All right. This hand uh, does... It almost does something with this Mentor. It almost pops right off. But it doesn't, because we can't turn on this Opal. We're on the draw. I think we need our six, though. This is a turn one City Chalice. This is a keep. It's definitely a loose keep, but... We're gonna ship one of the mentors. We could just, in order to turn on the opal to cast the mentor out of uh, cards to cast, though, I think I'm gonna ship the mentor. What are we playing against? Delver? Delver. Alright, well. Alright, Chalice, don't get dazed. <laughs> and also, a lot of other things I don't want to happen. Maybe we're actually... No, we can blister this later. Assuming, like, we don't get wastelanded or dazed or, you know, anything. Paying off this extra drinker. It's not a Delver. So you can't, like, just immediately turn around and flip it. How'd the event go? We, uh, I top aided the event. This is very fun. Got 900 bucks. We split the top eight pot, and then I died in the quarters. I need to cycle this bobble. I don't think I need to play out this opal. We could play out this opal to play the ballista on days for the next turn and not crack the bobble. We can ballista down the hex drinker. We're probably gonna get wasteland, is what I'm concerned with. Because that means we play out the opal. And then decide, we don't crack the bobble on their upkeep. We wait until we get Wastelanded or not. Because if we get Wastelanded, we might need the opal for mana. Although, all right, not getting Wastelanded. All right. Wow, all right. Really putting the drags in this basket. All right, we're going to keep the bobble then, because we want to play this Ballista around to like a top deck daze. So we just kill the Hex Drinker here. Ooh. Don't really want to play this other city because it lets us cast our other spells here. We could like mentor city, but no, we want to play Karn. So what did you change about the Black White Eldrazi deck? Nothing. It was great. I loved it. I was very happy with all the cards in it. Oh, they had force. They had force didn't force the chalice. Did they just draw the force then? Looks like Karn for Bridge is on the agenda. Still don't think we're popping this bobble just to keep playing around days. Pumping up the jams on this Hex Drinker, sure. It is 
time to go find the ensnaring bridge. Alright, so we can play the card into the days. But we're going to have to play something. Oh, I guess we don't actually have to play anything to the days. We're going to, like, lose all of our mana sources, though. Because we could, we could float two, play city, play Karn, wish for the bridge. Next turn, float two, play the Caracas, have four mana cast the bridge through a daze. But, like, then we're down to a Caracas. <laughs> but we have to have six cards before the Hexrigger can hit us, so. Kind of want to play the Caracas here. It just feels a lot better, though. They didn't daze my Chalice. They would have had to draw it over the last two turns. We're so dead if they daze the Karn, though. I'm going to rebuild with just a Krogs and an Opal. Did I play against Wars at all? No, I played against Paradoxical Urza twice. I think I'm just going to try to play around daze for this whole game. Casket. No, it doesn't work. Because it's going to be protection for everything next turn. And then after we get this bridge down, hopefully, then we can uh, cycle the bobble. Can we hear tell the opponent that you can turn on the hall? I beat him! I killed my... my Paradoxal opponent twice to owed them. Alright, Cavernous was a nice draw. So now we float to play Caracas. Alright. Drawing a Delver, cool. Oh no! <laughs> Outplayed! <laughs> the main deck Oko! <laughs> now we're just fucked. You need to find like the whole combo or something to kill them, right? It's for eight, so this tune doesn't tap. Is it not no longer an artifact too? That's pretty funny. So our opals turned off. So we can't like play our car near. Hmm. Plan. Don't think we really have a plan. I think our plan is die. Can't even like cast anything. Cause the <laughs> the dang Oko turns off our Take that Oko, attack you within a snaring bridge. Like Oko or Chalice, too. Cast all our one drops. You little gremlin. Just lay down. Alright. Delver time. What do you what do you want? What do you want? Huh? Get away from me. Why are you climbing all over me and just lay down? Like you usually do. I don't know what your deal is today. But yeah. Bring in chalices, bring out forges. Our wow, forge is really embarrassing versus Oko. It's really funny. They're probably playing like exactly one. I just got dunked on though. All right, um, that's fine. All right, this sounds great. Snap this one off.
thought Oak would be some mistake bundle, and that's what it, yeah, that's what the other plus is. Oh no, you're looking at the Planeswalker deck, Oko. That one's like six mana. Could play turn two Karn if we wanted. Oh, never mind. So much for that plan. Maybe I wanted to play this Bobble to cycle it. You gotta spell Thief right. Yeah, let's cycle these Bobbles. To draw an opponent. A brainstorm. To draw an opponent. A spell snare. Those are pretty good cards to draw. Hopefully, I don't open my chalice again. Alright, this cavern's a good pickup. I think I'm just gonna run out this ballista. We're definitely gonna counter on human, not construct. It's just a matter of do I want to run out the pedal to play around like a daze? Would I sack the pedal to save ballista from a daze? No. So I think I just want to run out the ballista. Human. Did Jace's Fate Seal come from an already existing card? I don't think so. There's only one card that actually Fate Sealed before Jace, right? It was like some nonsense Time Spiral card. Two cards? Sure. I could name neither of them. Guaranteed. Oh, nice. I love Chalice on wanting my opponent and then having them go to discard. And is Merrick Sliver as Fate Seal? Oh, okay, yeah. Spin into Myth was what I was thinking of then. Definitely was not thinking of a Sliver. This card, Ancient Grudge. Oh no! The Wombo Combo! <laughs> oh man! Opponent is full of tricks. Luckily, we have the kill. If they uh, don't have like a force, they would have to force the. LED. That was extremely funny, though. That's very good. <laughs> Don't have the second land. Move to discard. Yeah, I mean, we have a lead on the LED, but then, like, we'd rather the force it the first time, right? Because I guess they we could play around days by playing the LED first, because they could definitely have a days. But if they force it the first time, then we'd have to discard the Karn. But yeah, we can play the LED here. Okay, get rid of dead. We did it! is making us do it, I guess, so, uh, excuse me for three minutes while we, uh, make a bunch of mana here. Have to make, what, 40 mana? Alright, cool, they figured it out. How are you doing this? Um, so, Oriox Salvagers says, Return target artifact with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to your hand for two mana, one and a white. Lion's Eye Diamond, you sack it to make three mana of any one color. So you sack the Lion's Eye Diamond to make three white. Use Oriox Salvagers to put the LED back in your hand for two white. So you're up one white mana. Play the LED. You go up one white mana with every recursion. And then eventually we're going to make 40 mana. And we had a Ballista in play. So we can ping them for one. Ballista goes to the yard. And then Ballista is CMC zero. So the Oriac Salvagers can buy back the Ballista, and we just play a Ballista for 19 and hit them in the face. I thought the white card was Thalia for some reason. I mean, that's a reasonable assumption on this stream, but not today. Thalia, not very good in this deck. Figured out what planes you have to get. Alright, let me see these ones. Ah, the classic. 
thunderstorm planes. I don't know if I can get these though. One of my one of the one of my friends is a real big fan of them. So I can't I can't use them just to, to spite him. Maybe I'll do the spiky planes though. I do like the spiky planes. Add Thalia to Bomberman. I I briefly considered doing some sort of like meme donation goals where we just like try to combine DNT with like random ass legacy shells. Seems really fucking hard to do though. <laughs> All of the decks seem horrible. Depths and taxes was probably the upper the upper tier of like actual playable. All right, what does this planes look like? That plane's pretty good. Yeah, the Alara planes. Anyway, am I keeping this hand? What does this hand do? Um. Cavern, Bobble Bobble, we turn to Salvagers, nothing to go with it. No. This hand has turn two. I think we're all in on this hand just going turn two, Mentor Bobble Bobble, Mentor Thing Thing Thing. Kind of into this, just put the planes at the bottom, lead on Cavern, dodge Wasteland, dodge like them having a Lightning Bolt up. Shipping this planes is so greedy. We'll be fine. This hand has a plan and we're not deviating from it. We're leaning way into it. Alright, this hand has an even better plan now. Which is just make even more things. Alright, we're definitely not gonna get wastelanded and it's gonna be fine. You man. So cast a Ren and Six. Uh, perfect Tarmogoyf deal. All right. Now we're going to go off. Shitty things that I don't care if they daze, yeah. Maybe I wanted to lead with the opal, but the opal can tap for mana, although we're probably sacking this bobble, so. Maybe now we play the opal. I think I might have wanted to play the opal first. So you start to strong card use against them? Yeah, for sure. Hand had a plan, and we successfully enacted on that plan. Just make a fuck ton of monks. Alright, step two, I guess, is don't get um, rough tumbled. <laughs> Rough tumble is pretty gross. I, I jinx myself constantly on stream. That's all I do. <laughs> Alright, a big boy, goif. Yeah, they don't even get to attack. Alright, what, what do you got in your hand, opponent? Let me see. An ancient grudge. Alright, well, that's a good card to know about. Certainly. Throw some more things to play. Non-creature spells to put on the stack. Those are some pretty good non-creature spells to draw, I must say. Gotta gotta be honest, some pretty strong ones. I 
I will put my LED on the stack. Like to concede opponent? No. All right. I'm gonna float a white mana just in case. Then crack this. Then buy it back. That's not how that's gonna work, opponent. I will buy it back again. We did it! Look at that. For you into Demon Slayer, like episode 10? Something like that? Not very far. He hasn't even met what I already know is my favorite character, which is the guy with the pig head. Don't know anything about him, but he's already my favorite. Yeah, those were some pretty heinous draws. <laughs> Just actual draw into the, the, the rest of the combo. I would have taken, like, a, a, a lotus petal on another bobble. Just draw the whole combo. Just fucking get him. Anyway. How do you search for specific planes on Moto? Does anyone know? We're gonna buy the spiky planes. So nothing. Yeah, all I had was the, uh... The, so they kept on the strength of the Ancient Grudge that time, I guess. And then we, like, just didn't have a Chalice Hand. See? Again, like, all the different angles of attack. They kept, like, a... Like, they, they played, like, a Tarmogoyf and Ancient Grudge. It looked pretty good if we, like, lead on Chalice on one or whatever. And pressure, like, a Karn. They have a Surgical to, like, break up the combo if we're tight on mana. But we just had a ton of mana, and we just went super wide with Mentor, and they didn't have an answer for it. Search planes and scroll through the inventory. Yeah, I guess that's pr that probably works. Maybe we'll do that for round four here. Also, apparently affiliates can run ads now. I haven't tried it. I don't know how to do it. But I want to try it out at some point. Oh, I can click the ad. That's just a run ad button. That's dope. Maybe we'll try that out. All 22 of you. I have no idea. I probably make like what <laughs> hundredths of a penny per viewer watching my ad or whatever. We'll we'll test out the run ad button when I after round four I'm gonna click over to uh, start looking through planes and then after the thirty seconds are up, you guys will come back and I'll still be looking at planes. Then you guys can help. <laughs> Negative twelve dollars. That's about, that's how much I make every time I click on the, the add button. Didn't get to see how good a uh, glass casket was, unfortunately. Got dumpstered by that Oko, Jesus. Notably, it's a pretty, re uh, a, a line to uh, play around o Oko if that's the real deal in game, in game one, though. That was kind of wild. In game one, Oko. Because, like, you can go get a glass casket to beat a single creature instead of, like, going get the bridge. Because the bridge is usually, like, almost a hard lock to game one against Delver. They have to, like, run and six ult you. But that Oko got us good. Uh, so this hand is a little bit slow, but I'm into it. I think I'm into turn two chalicing. Turn one chalice on the play is really good, though. But then we're really slow out of the gates if we want to get this mentor online. Maybe we just want to turn one chalice anyway. Turn one chalice. Turn two land. If we draw the third land, we can just wait. If we don't, maybe we, like, cycle some number of baubles. 
Trevor and Chalice got to play in game, blind game one. It's just so busted, though. We can also, like, bobble them first to see what they're on, see if it's worth Chalice, or worth burning the pedal on the Chalice. But then we're burning a bobble for the Mentor, which is reasonable. Because there's a possibility that, like, we see Aether Vial on top, although then I'd want a Chalice on one, but if we see, like, a Thalia or something, the, the pedal becomes uh, a lot more premium. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. I don't think we need to go, like, buck wild with this mentor also the, the bubble cycle so we can draw out other stuff for the mentor basic swamp all right so a storm or depths i think i want to turn one chalice from one against both of those right notably not a snow covered swamp so it's not like uh four color Red Black Reanimator is another option. Another deck that you really want to play a Chalice on one. Oh, that's a good draw. We even have an insane draws today. Six. All right, that's not scary at all. We can just literally kill it. Maybe they ping off the monk. Nope. They already have a swamp in hand. Whatever. This is supposed to activate the bobble in response to that plus. Now there's a greater chance we see a card we already know. Oh, okay, they have a bob. Cool. Loam, maybe? Could be. Does Loam play Bloodstained Mire, though? Like four color loam. I have no idea what their fetch suite looks like. There's a temptation to chalice on two here. Instead of carning. Like just the chalice on two already clears the red in six. They have a bob in here. Chalice on two locks out, like, Assassin's Trophy, Punishing Fire, stuff like him to Turok if they are, like, Jund. Yeah, I'm kind of into Chalice on two here. Especially because we, we absolutely certainly know that they have the Bob in hand. Although we could answer the Bob, like, Karn go get. Uh, oh, wow. Snap Concede. Yeah, P-Fire is a big deal. I don't technically know for certain what they're on, but I imagine sideboarding versus like Loam and Jund are pretty similar. I think we're probably like cutting the chalice. Maybe against Jund, you might want to keep Chalice on the play. Beats like Thoughtseizes and Bolts and stuff. Against Loam, it's just horrendous though. Unless you can put it on two, in which case it's okay. But I guess Sideboard does get a little bit finicky, because against, like, Loam, you're more likely to disenchant, right? Because they have Chalice and they'll, like, guarantee have Ley Lines. Wait, Loam doesn't play Basic Swamp, right? Although, I've, I've seen lists that are playing the Basic Swamp nowadays. Hello, Lout. How's it going? I guess Loam, you want Chalice. Yeah, exactly. I guess Jun boarding Dischance seems like shit. Although, they might still have, uh, Leyline. I feel like one one's going to be Chalice on two. Yeah, they like Decays and stuff. I feel like they're more... I feel like they're Jund, right? Not Loam. The Basic Swamp, the Bloodstained Mire. 
the colors they fetched for. I, I would guess Jund, honestly. And against Jund, you might actually just want, like, Plows to have more creatures. Although, against against Lone, you probably actually want Plows, too. You just don't want the Chalice. Let's board out these Chalices. Just board in three Plows and, like, one Disenchant. Just a Hedge. Just something like that. We chalice on one, chalice on two, on, on, chalice on two our, our opponent, and then they concede, and then we immediately just cut all the chalices. This hand has... This hand's really weak if they are Jund and they thought seeds me, but... It's got two redraws, it's got a turn two Karn. Pretty into it here. Yeah, I've seen recent Lomos that did have the Swamp, but the Mire with the Swamp was a little bit... And like the choice of colors on the the fetches. They got like two black lands when they already had a swamp in their hand. You know, thought sees me or yeah. I think they are just jund. We take the Karn, we're gonna cycle these baubles. Probably just play out the pedal too. Cause then it makes it us uh thought sees proof for the following turn. Does not make us him proof, we just lose all of our lands. <laughs> Isn't great. Eh, well, we have more lands now. We're gonna play this ancient tomb. Although now they know my whole hand, so they won't thought seize me. Because we drew the ancient tomb for the turn. I think it's probably right to play the pedal though. You draw an opponent. Him to Turok. Alright, well, goodbye, my lands. Oh, never mind. That's fair. They know my hand is land, 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 so like, wasteland, I play a land, and then they can, like, hit me after that. Oh no, we're drawing a bunch of cards, though, so I don't know. They might have also not had the second black for them. Quickly, we set out the chalices to wish for them. The big brain move. Well, let's draw some cards. Could be the same hymn to Turok. Maybe they have two hymn to Turoks. Mentor is your drop. Okay, we're drawing two cards. Uh, I kind of hate. Playing City of Traders and using the pedal to run out a naked mentor. But we're getting him to next turn. But we'll have one, two, three, four, five cards in hand. I think I'd rather play Cavern. If they like play a creature, we can City, Mentor, Plow it, and get the trigger at least. I think Naked Mentor probably just like sucks too much. And like lead leaving us with only City of Traders and we're getting himmed. So Blaine. Looks like we are getting him to Turokt. Alright, well, could have gone worse, certainly. Uh, do I play the Naked Mentor now? Or do I just keep hitting land drops here? Weak against more Thoughtseize effects. Good against, like, Liliana of the Veil or other removal spells. I think we sit on it. Rather have something to play alongside this mentor. Hit me again? I don't know, Tarmac Wave, sure. That's horrifying, certainly. They only have two lands. Four cards in, though. I feel like this mentor is destined for death as soon as we play it. So I think I'm just going to keep sitting on it. We really just want to draw something to pair it with. 
is a big goif. This is a large boy. It's gonna hit us in the face. It's a lot of large boys. We are drawing a lot of lands. This is not going well. Alright, might be time to play this mentor. <laughs> We draw Karn, we can't even bridge them. We could Karn casket one and then just have the Karn beef it to the other. Things do not look good for our hero. Lily me. Yep. Mystic Forge is a card. I imagine it takes a lot to get me out of this scrape, but you never know. Mystic Forge, work your magic. Alright. Ballista does not do it because there are two lethal attackers. Do I play the Ballista on one or zero? Probably one. Chalices on the play. I still don't think so. Thought Seize kind of sucks, but they have so many impactful two drops. I imagine they're punching fire somewhere. Because punishing Jund is usually the type of Jund that you see. They have hymns, decays, trophies, stuff like that. Chalice just turns off what? Thought Seize and Bolt, really? Death. No, no, Death Rush Shaman's not a thing anymore. My brain was thinking about the last time I played against Jund. It's like. Back when they had Death Rite Shaman. Maybe this cast out does something? Maybe the cast out's better than the Disenchant. And just leave out all the chalices. At least cast out like, can, can kill a Tarmogoyf at some point. Disenchant just like is totally rotting. And cast out can also answer a Leyline if that's what they're doing. I think we're happy resubmitting here. I'd love to play first. I'd love to keep this hand. This hand's gas. I'm into this hand. Tomb Bobble Go. And Bobble You. Inquisition. Oh man, please! 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 Yes! <laughs> The dream. The dream indeed. I mean, like, draw a bunch of things that Inquisition can hit. I think it's just time to forge, forge it up. Just windmill slam this Mystic Forge. Tr force him to, like, trophy it or something. Play a bunch of gas off the top. Mm, that's pretty good. Do I want to draw the Mentor? It's probably fine. We also just have the whole combo, if they can't answer that. I think we're good here. Oh, is there a picture of Miranda? <laughs> the Thalia. I getcha. So let me get those new emotes. Oh yeah, Wasteland me. Wait, no. Not that I can't cast my salvagers. Wow, what a jerk. Yeah, this is fine. 
wonder if I still want this mentor. Because we could just, like, get rid of it now still. Or we could play cavern, mentor, and, like, try to, like, rift some stuff off the top. Oh man, they hit with their inquisition now. How rude. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe we just want to hit more lands. So we can cast the salvagers. If we find like a Take the Ballista, sure. Maybe I don't want this mentor. The mentor doesn't do anything unless we hit a bunch of zeros off the top. I'm gonna draw some cards off this bauble. Yeah, I don't think I want this mentor. I would mentor them. I guess we're like not able to cast the salvagers very well. They're also on just one land. Right? Oh no, they waste enemy this turn. Yeah, but so, mentor's probably good enough with this Mystic Forge. Which means we want to crack the bauble though. To find a try more zeros. Scavenge news. Well, we found two mentors. Taking ballista. They might have taken it because they have the scoops, right? Um, we don't really want this plane because we want to go off with our mentor. But also, exile land sucks. Oh, well, we'll just draw land anyway. Did we just run out of naked mentor? On this board, just go down to one land. We're drawing into a second land. We have to play this land eventually, so yeah, that's probably fine. We're fine with drawing with Krakos, hitting a second land. And, like, kill my mentor here with a P-Fire. Or Bolt, sure. We're still going off this Forge. They have to turn through all this card advantage. Yeah, like this LED. So we can't cast any of these things. Or if I just want this land more than I just want to hit, like... I guess if we hit, like, a Karn, we could play it and just discard my hand. <laughs> I'll keep stop the forge to the second mentor. Oh, yeah, because we just drew both mentors immediately, and we probably didn't want to draw the other mentor. I didn't think about that. Do I want to draw this land? Probably not. Let's keep going. We'd probably draw a land. We're getting a bobble trigger. Let's go off. All right, let's stop going off. Got over there. A bad lands, sure. You can scooze my walking ballista. You got a boss. Do I even plow this? Do I want? The I don't care if they eat my walking ballista. We just can. We can just bobble them to death. Take the long way around. I just want to be mana efficient. We're pretty tight on mana. Although, we're not casting anything. I want to get things off the board. I think our plan is just, like, carn them. At this point, we just, like, lattice lock them. As soon as we find a carn. Or very soon after that. I think I do want to draw the second plow. to kill more shit. Uh, ballista, huh? Play a big ballista, sack all our LEDs. Or we can just play one, one drop ballista. Going off, there we go. Upkeep stop, yeah, but I'm lazy and didn't do it, because <laughs> whatever. We're fine. We're winning, look how much we're winning. Look how many more permanents we have than my opponent. We're gonna draw like 900 cards. They're dead. Four
Force of Vigor, sure. Goodbye, Mystic Forge. I knew thee well. Probably gonna have to Mystic Forge. Oh, I didn't. I, should, I forgot this was untapped. I probably should have got rid of the Salvagers, whatever. So they have another green card then? Or they just really don't care about the Mystic Forge? Okay. They just really want to get their beatdowns on. So the last card in hand is just this Force of Vigor. So they are just dead, assuming we can find a, land, a mana source for this Mentor. So we're going to cycle this Bobble. Yes, they have the Force of Vigor hand. We're actually going to make the upkeep stop now. We're going to use the Mystic Forge, get rid of the Salvagers. Okay, it's a plane, so they just die. We just... Salvagers kill them, yeah. Sure, I'll draw the second Salvagers. Sure, you know what, I'll draw the Crocus too. I don't care. You are, in fact, dead opponent. Legend, rid yourself for the flex. Opponent gonna make me go through it? Well, we have 12 and a half minutes on the clock. I think we're good to make 40 whatever mana. How's everybody's day going? Do think they conceded so quickly to a chalice today? Maybe I should run an ad right now. What do you think, chat? You want a 30 second ad while I'm going off here? It's not very interesting. Like halfway there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna run a thirty second ad. I'm gonna hit the ad button. I don't know who sees the ad and who doesn't. Twitch is telling me. Remember, you're still live. Some people may not get an ad. I think like if you're subbed, you don't get ads, right? Is that how that works? I keep talking for this up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so all right. How much? So how much man do we have to make? They're at twenty-two effectively because we can ping them for one. So that's forty-four plus the two to pick it up. So like 46 mana kills them. It's really amazing that people just like really don't value their time at all. Where's the ad? I don't know. Do you have ad blocker? Ad blocker and like subs. Yeah, pick it. yeah, so we're going to use the Ballista and then pick it back up. We're definitely not going to pump the Ballista 22 times. That would take a lot more clicks. Oh, we got all the time in the world. Ah, ads are also region-specific. I don't know how ads work. Don't forget to tap the forge. <laughs> I guess we could hit like a third LED on the top. Make the 
This goes slightly faster. Just goes a little bit faster when you have multiple LEDs. It's like obviously the same amount of clicking, but I guess it's actually slightly. You know, it's the same amount of clicking. We just find Karn at the top of the deck and then also Karn lock them. Well, we couldn't m m lattice lock them because, like, we would need blockers and shit. Do you have Carpal Tunnel now? It's not actually that bad once you're used to it. I guess I could close this to make it easier. How much mana did we say? 46? I just like to go off with with a uh, LED in play on Moto just in case I fuck something up. Click 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 click. I can hold control to make this easier on myself. Can you right click bullets and save targets? Maybe. I don't know how that shit works. Maybe I should figure that out. Oh, there's another walking bullet on the top of our deck! You should learn to save time. That'd be the smart thing to do. Hey, did I? yeah, there we go. We did it. Look at that. Thank you, opponent, for making me click through all of that and wasting both of our times. I really appreciate it. There was just a brief pause in me f or me auto yielding to the ballista and then moto auto yielding for me. We are approaching final boss territory. You can get if the first ping happens, I believe. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try that next time. You right click on the ballista and you can click save targets. And then you just activate the ability. Hmm. I'll try that. When do we pronounce DNT fully dead and go <laughs> declare the Bomberman stream? I'll be playing DNT this month too. Gotta try out Prince. I have not tried it out Prince or Deafening Silence. Thalia changes to a mentor. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna change the the our, my only uh, emote to an Oriok Salvager. <laughs> um, uh, that seems pretty good. Turn one Chalice, turn two Mentor, pedal a bobble. We'll keep port. You can save port's ability to save targets. I had no idea. I've never tried that though, because sometimes you just want to pour different things. Oh man, I hope this is Storm. We just fucking fuck their shit up. Yeah, I've never. I've never tried the save targets function. 
on Moto, but I mean, I imagine it's functional. I just never used it. Probably should test it out just then. Hey, don't bite my fingers, you little, you little rascal. Chalice, you go. Why would you assume IMDGO features functional with that having seen it function? Uh, I guess because no one complains about it? But maybe no one complains about it because no one else uses it. Alright, my guess is Storm. It could be like four color. We could just chalice on two of them. But I think it's game one, it's fine to just mentor thing, thing, thing. Chalice on two of them later. Chalice on two seems pretty juicy here, though. Kind of into it, honestly. Hmm. Just make three monks. Yeah, that's probably the, the good play. on like four color control and I wanted to make a shit ton of monks. That's what I assume fetching is. <laughs> fetching means they can actually cast spells. Another UC though, that doesn't seem very four color control. It's just like straight Grixis maybe? Make it like a bulk here? Although I guess Storm might also get a bulk. Blue black Omni. <laughs> she gets show and tell just dumpstered. <laughs> that would be funny. Definitely not a deck on my radar, certainly. Ooh, Bayou. Alright, so it seems like Storm, right? Alright, I guess we'll see what they cast here. Grim Tutor. Okay, so there's definitely just there's definitely just Storm. It's just a question of can they kill me with nothing but zeros and fours, right? If they're playing Witch Claw, why are they playing Grim Tutor? They're playing like 4280's weird ass list. Like, isn't Witch Claw just like your Grim Tutor? <laughs> okay, Deed me off. Okay, 4280 doesn't play Deed in the main, right? That would suck some serious shit. Alright, I guess they're just copying his list then. Deed was in the board, okay, thank god. Don't have to play around that one. Drawing a brainstorm, solid. It's gonna take a lot for Storm to kill this pre-board. We have like a two, possibly one turn clock here, right? How many hits do we need? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. We need two hits off the Mystic Forge, like two zeros to kill them. Or off these draws, too. Well, they have Pass the Flames in hand. That's a card. 
I mean, my, pl my plan is not play around D. My plan is lose to D. It's... My plan is punch them in the face. Well, those were not excellent draws by any stretch. I want to not take damage, though. So I think we're going to play the city and just pop the pedal. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We could play the Ballista out for 1, or we could play it for 0 to try to hit more stuff. I don't think the Ballista's going to make lethal, though, so I think I'd rather play it for 0. Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 1 off lethal if we find a 0. So I'm going to play it for 0 here. Oh, well, there's another Ballista. As a mentor. There's another ballista. Sure, alright, cool. You get to live one more turn, opponent. Turns off fetches is another thing, yeah. If we hit this, the 1 0. Well, we just have deterministic next turn. Decay my chalice. That's bad. Could die. So I tried to stay at a high enough life total. Decay the chalice on two. Well, I can't do anything. I'm f I'm I'm out. I'm f sixing. Feeding the 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 uh, cabal ritual, I suppose. It's going to take them a little bit here. They have six cards in hand. One of them is the Passive Flames. But they have to find a Passive Flames kill. They have to have, like, just a bunch of uh, Cabal Rituals, I guess. Strong Counts 2, Cabal Rituals 3, Cabal Rituals would be 4, Pip 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. They could kill me with two crits. I don't know if they can kill me with one crit. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven. I think they could. I think they might actually be able to kill with one. Might just be dead here. Taking a long time though, but they fired off that brainstorm with such gusto. I imagine that they just had like a crit hand. Like they they know what deck I am. I'm not gonna have any interactions. So like if they have deterministic, they have deter. I guess yeah. No, they just have deterministic if they have it. Crits three, pips four. I've been I'm not doing mana math though. They have five mana, crit down to three mana, up to eight mana, piff down to four mana, crit to seven mana, grim two. Okay, so one crit doesn't do it. I think they're actually off in terms of mana. They'd have enough to put me to one with just a single crit, but they couldn't like cast an extraneous brainstorm or something to get to the necessary storm count. Like a cabal ritual. Yep. I'm not good at storm math though, so I might also just be dead. Also, they have three other cards in hand, so if they can just toss something else in on the pile. Looks like they're just going to put me to one though, if I did my math right. I mean, that's why they were tanking so long. They couldn't find lethal. They're just going for the best available play. Yeah, 
Yeah, this will get them to a 7. It'll put me to 1 and put them to uh, 18. I oh, know. 17, because they take 3 off this Grim Tutor. So I didn't consider turning off Piff Grim Tutor with, like, a Ballista plus... Oh, no, the Thoughtseize should kill me. Oh, they had just another Cabal Ritual? What? What happened? Why didn't they just fire off this Cabal Ritual early? Oh, oh, wait, did they... They had the Tendrils in hand, and they just tutor for the Cabal Root then? Seems like a much easier line. Alright. Um, I think we're just running it back. What does his Mad Lad list look like? We might need to, like, board some random garbage. Thought distortion. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Wow, there's one abrupt gain in this deck. Tilt. <laughs> Two piffs. Yeah, those cards suck. I wonder if there's a world where we want disenchants for their wish cloth talismans. Yeah, they got the second crit and just had the the tendrils in hand, but, like, that's a much easier line line to find, I imagine. Can you play Barman better than Brainstorm? Just, oh, yeah, for sure. Barman doesn't cast cantrips. It's much easier. They tutor it first for the decay. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Okay, yeah, 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 never mind. Less tilt. Much more understanding now. Grim Tutor found the, the decay. That, that tracks. But also, they have one Grim Tutor tilt. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just running this back. Sorry for boarding in, like, the Tormod script. Like, uh, Karn's already, like, insane. Don't necessarily need to always wish for the crypt, and drawing the crypt can be helpful. Yeah, Bomberman cantrips are much easier to use than, uh, blue cantrips. That is for sure. Playing Storm in Disguise. Yeah, I've made a lot. I've made big Storm counts with this deck before. I think we're gonna do that. What happened to my... Oh, there it is. His hand has turn two Mystic Forge, and that is probably uh, not very good. Alright, this hand has absolutely nothing, and that's a lot worse than my first hand. Opponent is starting on 7. Uh, does not look bode well for our dreams here. Right, well, we have turn 2 car, and we're going to get Thought Seized, but... I'm going to put away this Mentor and this Bobble. Just keep the Salvagers, hope to get lucky, right? I mean, the card can find the LED and the... Can find both other halves of the combo. So we don't get absolutely wrecked. There's a world where we can ship the mentor and the salvagers or something, but that's probably not correct. So we we, we have to be getting thought seized. Although maybe maybe not on the draw. Because like they plan on trying to beat Chalice on one on turn one. So they're spending three cards for a turn one, two, two, doing doing nothing. Yeah, I was thinking the bubble might be better. The salvage is, like, pretty important, though. I think the mentor is garbage. We need all the lands. I'm gonna ship this bubble. Yeah, the mentor is definitely too slow. We don't have enough resources to effectively use mentor. Mentor was the easy bottom. Don't know what the the other choice was, though, yeah. Alright, we'll just top deck Chalice. It'll be fine. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll lead on Cavern. We don't necessarily want to take four. Uh, we're 
Bomber's dying. Nice. Well, both teams tried hard. Oof. That was a... That was a good brainstorm. Just like a 900,000 mana ad nauseum. Ad nauseum with three mana left over and an uncracked LED. They have to get so outrageously unlucky to not kill me here. Can they just come with? They can just come with Piff, right? Or it's like Tudor Chains. They have so much mana. Or it's like deterministically dead. They know every card man but one. Yeah, they're just gonna like Tudor Chain me. They also could have piffed me, I think, because they just like had two Ritz to cast too. Chad demands to see the bobble card. Oh, because we would have drawn one card here. All right. We'll draw the card. No, come back. Quick, before Moto kills my chance to draw the card. Hey, there's a Mystic Forge. What does the Mystic Forge reveal? We play that on turn two, and then it reveals an LED, which we play. And then that reveals a Ballista, which we play for zero, probably. Because we're trying to find Chalice. And then we... Ah, oh, we actually do find the Chalice. We play the Chalice on one. And then... We have one mana floating, nothing in our hand. We play the Ballista on zero. Play a Bobble. Wow, that would have been a fucking... Activate the Mystic Forge. Alright, that's pretty good, though. A world that could have been. <laughs> oh, well. 4-1, not bad. All right, hang on. Well, before we end the stream today, we gotta we gotta solve my planes problem. All right, do I have any ticks in a trade binder? I don't. I don't even have a trade binder. I need some planes. All right, I have six ticks. Is that enough to buy my planes? Probably. We only need six. Let's go to the store. Oh, no, not the store. Let's go to trades. That always fucks me up. Every single time. All right. What is it? What, what's a good selection of basic lands? Is there, like, specific ones, or can I just go to, like, GoBots? Let's just try, like, GoBots. GoBots and stuff. So if I search planes, what do we got? Wow, all right. So this is in set, Is this is in print order, right? So I'd have to scroll down a long way to get to the Alara stuff. If I wanted the Alara or even further deep like Mirrodin. Oh wow, we scrolled down pretty far actually. Massacre, <laughs> trigger. Oh, there's the, Thunder, oh, filter by basic. Can I do that? How do I sort? Filter by set? Uh, got it. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, this stuff. Oh, I see. I see all these tabs on the side. I see. Okay. Um, Alright, let's go to Mirrodin. I don't know which Mirrodin set it was, though. Aha! Yes. Spiky plane. Plateaus instead, probably the same price. How do we feel about spiky planes, Chad? Spiky planes are pretty decent. I like those Alara planes. Those Alara planes look pretty nice. Can I get the same ones that I use on in paper? I bought some paper ones. They were the Rebecca Guai ones. They came in like a commander set. Like, I don't know how I would find them. Look at promotional planes. Oh, God, there's so many promotional planes. What a mistake. I, I grew a sunflower. Sunflower planes ain't bad. Oh, these are my, oh, these are my planes. These are my planes. I use death and taxes. 
MPS. Great wall planes. It's another rip away. Oh no! Please finish the trade within 15 seconds or I'll be cancelled. Oh well, we'll redo the, the search. Goodbye, GoBot. I just wanted to look at your planes. Gurus are so basic. I'm gonna go to different GoBots. Fuck you, GoBot. I just wanted to look at your selection of planes. Nice M19 lands. Same filters, no time limit. Oh, I could. I guess I could just do that, couldn't I? That's probably the smart thing to do. All right, yeah. Fuck you, GoBots. I'm out. I'm out of here. Fuck off. So now we want to do quantity zero, but we want play. Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Planes. So we can sort by set. It was in yeah. It was in a commander set, and then it was a. It was like a. I'm pretty sure it was a promo. What is theme deck set? Do these have any nice ones? Oh, I think some okay ones. Treasure chest have any planes in them? A couple. Kind of weird. Treasure chests have these planes. Those are actually not, not bad. Um. What was I looking for? Commander 2019. Yes, these planes. Commander 2019 planes. Where are they? Did it? Did they not have the? Was it Commander 2019? Fuck. I don't. Know. Let me see the other Commander sets. Pretty sure they were Commander 2019 planes. I can probably look them up. These are just Zendies. Can I start? Can I search by like artist? Is that a thing? Can I see who did the art? Doesn't look like it. It's a Gwai land. Uh, no, they're a different one. There's, like, she did some that ended up in a commander set. And, um, uh, they got printed as a promo later. This is commander 2018. Is that not on here? What? Why is it 2011, 2013, 2014, 2019? What the fuck? Moda, why you do me like this? I don't know. I don't understand how you work, Moto. What is this? Yes, those are the ones. What, what commander set is that? It's a tiny image. Those are the planes that I use. I have no idea how to find them. It looks like a 16 or an 18. Neither of which is on this list. Maybe I'll just have to live with uh, some suboptimal planes choices. I just don't have some of the basics from some of the commander. Oh yeah, because some of the commander sets just come out in chests, right? They don't necessarily have like the set. They're just although they wouldn't put the basics in the set, so I don't or basics in the chests besides these ones. So I don't know. I have nothing, chat. I'm I'm out of good planes ideas. Some flower ones are pretty decent. Oh, right, Modern Horizons only has snow-covered lands. Fuck off, Modern Horizons. Mm. Yeah, these are the... Should split with Snowcard. <laughs> Fuck right off. Oh, God, no. People are starting to see just bad ideas. All right, I gotta choose. I gotta choose some Global Series. Is the Global Series? Yeah, the Global Series ones. They're pretty nice, honestly. I kind of like them. 
Fucking chest. How much are they? I'm kind of kind of into these, honestly. Let's let's see if GoBots has any. They're probably like stupid expensive though. They only come in chests. They're just like randomly expensive. We'll see, I suppose. Uh, set. Please stop licking my face. Excuse me. E excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, so they don't necessarily have all the stuff. That's why the sets this this bot doesn't exactly it doesn't have like every card ever. So they don't necessarily have some of the things I can filter for. Okay, that makes sense. Good about this plans. It's very mirrored in E. Ooh. Let me just go with Sunflower. How much are Sunflower planes? <laughs> Point zero eight ticks. And get up here, you little gremlin. There. Alright, how much are kangaroo planes? I could, I could kick it with some kangaroo planes. All right, chat. Final offer. How do we feel about these kangaroos? Kangaroos are rad as hell. Why do you keep crawling around, huh? Why do you keep crawling around, kitty? Just lay down. Just lay down. Just lay down. All right, we're going with kangaroos. I'm into it. I'm into these kangaroo lands. It cost me all of 0. 0.3 ticks. I ran in for Ice Age snow cover. Fuck off. Uh, Bomberman. Goodbye, planes. Uh, how planes I got? Oh, wait, now I need to search quantity. All right, into it. All right, I can't just do that. I can add all, right? Add, oh, no. I forgot it actually adds too many. What a mistake I've made. All right, we're good, we're good. We're good, chat, we did it. We got kangaroo planes now. We've upgraded the deck. Now we only have mismatching caverns, mismatching mox opals, mismatching lotus petals, and mismatching chalices of the void. One step at a time. I think this mox opal I actually borrow from a card hoarder every time and give it back. I should just change the order to have it be an invention mox opal so it matches. Mismatch half foil everything to tilt all the viewers? Probably. Viewers do get unreasonably tilted by, like, random art choices and stuff. Every time I'm playing the shitty, like, x lawn and or whatever, and Patrick comes in. It's like, tilts off the face of the earth. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm, that's enough dicking around. Dick around for far too long. Let's go find someone to host. All right, we got three people playing Legacy. It's Monday. Where's Card Kingdom? Card Kingdom usually streams Legacy, but I mean, we'll go with host Arkin. Have a host Arkin in a while. But anyway, um, thanks everybody for watching. As always, if you like uh, my, the content that I make, you want to support the channel. You want to support these these little goblin kitties? You can always follow, subscribe, or donate. Um, we're gonna be playing a lot of Legacy. I know we've been playing some Modern, but uh, we're we're jamming Legacy, prepping for Eternal Weekend coming up the first weekend in November. So we're gonna be jamming probably a lot of Bomberman, a lot of Death and Taxes and stuff. So stick around, come hang out. And anyway, 
Uh, so if I can spell Arkin, we're out of here. See you guys all on Wednesday. Say goodbye, kitty. Say goodbye. Oh, God, she doesn't want to say bye.